guys welcome back to my channel this is Grace Mike where we talk about food fashion and the good life so this is probably one of my most anticipated recipes and I'm glad to finally post this here come with me we'll be using flour sugar yeast egg oil vanilla essence salt and a cup of warm water combine yeast in the cup of warm water it has to be really warm by the way add the sugar and stir thoroughly give it a really good nice stir and set aside for about five minutes pick a bowl combine the egg add the vegetable oil to it add some vanilla essence and whisk everything together combine thoroughly by now your yeast mixture should look like this pour it into the bowl and fold in the flour in bits just shake it into the mixture like that in batches and combine thoroughly it's going to give you a shaggy paste at the end of the day but you just keep going like that in little bits so it doesn't clump up so you can have a smooth butter at the end of the day. you can have a smooth dough at the end of your mixing just combine like that make sure you get the ones on the bowl in the corner just scrape everything and make sure you get everything together so it might take time it might take a while if you're using hand instead of a dough mixer like I am doing so just keep it a good mix you mix it together that way the kneading of the dough is part of what gives your bread a really fine texture at the end of the day you want your bread soft and fluffy and airy and light so you need some mix as much as possible you need thoroughly kneading can be a tiring process but it's one of those things you do that you know that's what's it at the end of the day so you keep going like that by now you should have a stretchy mixture and it should be ready to be turned over to your work table in a couple of minutes like 60 seconds actually now you're going to want to dust some flour on your work surface like i'm doing and then turn over your dough to your work surface or your kneading board or a chopping board if you are using one and just make sure you get everything out of the bowl it's going to be a lot sticky and that's one of the reasons why you need to flour your work surface i'm just really trying to turn it around to you know um taking more flour so it cannot be as sticky as it is right now and you can see it's not so sticky anymore you are going to want to rub flour off your hands because it's going to be really sticky and then you are going to continue kneading the dough here yeah, it's not so sticky anymore because my dough has really really combined together with the flour and it has become stretchy and non-sticky and smooth and it's just perfect yeah that's the only way i can describe this guys it's it feels perfect so I just keep kneading for a while more. So we'll prove this for about 45 minutes to one hour, just till it doubles in size. Mine looks like this. We'll repeat the process of flouring our work surface and turn the dough onto the surface and start working it again. This makes it extra smooth because we are not using a machine, like I said earlier. So we'll keep kneading and shaping and kneading and shaping for about 10 to 15 minutes depending on how smooth you want your bread to be i wanted a really really smooth texture because i wanted to make mine with sandwiches and um french toast i wanted to use the bread for other stuff so i took my time kneading i think i needed mine for like 20 minutes thereabouts so you just keep kneading and shaping doing it all over again it's a really simple process it might be time taking and tiring actually but it's worth it at the end of the day trust me that extra 10 minutes to just knead your bread makes it extra smooth extra fluffy extra airy so you just knead like that continuously 
repeating the process going and going and going again just like that then you begin to shape it and you place it in your prepared pan i prepared my pan with margarine and i dusted it with flour so the bread doesn't stick we are going to proof again for another 45 minutes it looks like this and it's ready for the oven just before i slide it into the oven i'm going to brush with an egg first i do not have a pastry brush so i just dipped a sort of cotton wool into an egg i just broke an egg into a plate and i just rubbed it all over the surface the top part of my dough it gives it this really shiny nice um look when it's out of the oven you are going to want to bake for about 35 to 40 minutes in a 350 degree fahrenheit oven and mine looks like this it's golden brown it's well breathing and i brushed it up with butter or margarine in this case and it has this buttery salty tangy taste that it gives your bread at the end of the day it's it's just really beautiful guys you should try it it's an amazing journey and it just makes you proud of yourself kind of i don't know it makes it feel good yes so until next time this is grace to be care and thank you so much for watching this video i am grateful that every time i put something up you come back and you open it and you watch it it makes me really really happy it makes me feel like i'm doing something and i appreciate you i love you thank you so much if you try this recipe please let me know in the comment section how it went 